So what exactly is a nucleophile? And how is it different from an electrophile? So what do you think nucleophiles are? A nucleophile is basically a species that usually has a lot of lone pairs or has a, a negative charge and they basically love the nucleus. So examples of nucleophiles would be iodide, it has a negative charge. Water can behave as a nucleophile. It's attracted to the nucleus, which usually bears a positive charge. Some other examples of nucleophiles include hydroxide, that can behave as a nucleophile, ammonia, that's another nucleophile. Electrophiles usually bear positive charge. They seek out electrons. They love electrons. So H plus is an electrophile. Fe3 plus, that's another one. A carbocation is an electrophile. Some other electrophiles may not have a positive charge, but they can accept a pair of electrons. So BH3 FeBr3, AlCl3, all of these can form a bond. They can accept a pair of electrons. And so an electrophile is basically a Lewis acid. A nucleophile is basically a Lewis base. Now, when dealing with the reaction mechanisms between nucleophiles and electrophiles, when drawing the arrow, it's always going to flow from the nucleophile to the electrophile. The arrow represents the direction of the electron flow. So it's going to travel from a region of uh, negative charge to a region of positive charge. So let me give you some examples. Let's say if we were to put hydroxide with a methyl carbocation. We know that opposites attract. Hydroxide is going to donate a pair of its electrons to the carbon atom. And so we're going to get methanol. And now the oxygen has two lone pairs as opposed to three. Now let's say if we had BF3. It doesn't have a positive charge. It's neutral. And so this is going to be the electrophile. Now let's react it with a nucleophile, in this case, fluoride. It's electron rich, it has a lot of lone pairs. And so the nucleophile is going to attack the electrophile. And so this is a typical Lewis acid base reaction. And now the boron carries the negative charge. Now here's a question for you. What about a ketone? Would you say it's a nucleophile, or would you say it's an electrophile? Think about it. I'm going to give you a few minutes to find the answer to that question. Is a ketone an electrophile, or is it a nucleophile? Technically, it depends on what is attacking it, or what's around it. Under basic conditions, the ketone tends to behave more as an electrophile. Under acidic conditions, it tends to behave more as a nucleophile. Now the reason why it can behave as both is because if you draw the resonance structure of this ketone, you'll see that it has a region that's nucleophilic and a region that's electrophilic. So if we take this pi bond and move those two electrons to the oxygen atom, we're going to get this resonance structure. And so the oxygen is going to carry three lone pairs now, and it's going to have a negative charge. The carbon atom has a positive charge. So as you can see, the carbon atom of a ketone, that is electrophilic. It bears a partial positive charge. The oxygen atom bears a partial negative charge in its original form. And so the oxygen part of the ketone is nucleophilic, the carbon part is electrophilic.
So for example, let's say if we reacted a ketone with a nucleophile such as I'm going to use hydroxide. Hydroxide can donate one of its lone pairs, causing this pi bond to break, giving us this tetrahedral intermediate. So in that one step, hydroxide acted as a nucleophile. The carbon atom of the ketone acted as the electrophile. Now let's react the ketone with an acid. So let's use H plus because clearly we know that H plus is going to be the electrophile. And so the ketone has to be the nucleophile. So the oxygen part of the ketone will attack the hydrogen. And so we're going to get a protonated ketone. And so now the oxygen has one lone pair instead of two, and it carries the positive charge now. And so in this case, that's when a ketone can behave as a nucleophile. So it can behave as both. So remember, the oxygen part of a, a ketone is the nucleophile, and the carbon part of the ketone is the electrophile.